Welcome one and all to a new gameplay. Today I'm going to be playing Sky Hill. A nice little indie, indie uh, strategy game I think it is. So let's have a look at this one then. Right. I've had a few game, a few goes on it and that and it just to get grips on it so that I know how to start off on my video so what the game's about is you're trapped in this sky hill building and you've got to find your way out but on the way you've got to uh, fight mutants and zombies so let's get a new game on on business. It was a short trip. So why not spend a few days in style? Your keys, just as you ordered, are best suited with an excellent view and the latest biological defense system. nuclear war then. Boom. I rushed to the phone. I tried everything. Place. Green mushroom. Even right. hotel service. Something terrible was going on outside. When the oh, screaming viruses. Ceased, all I heard was satisfied, hungry growling, and the sound of flesh being torn apart. And then I was hungry and eventually went outside. It was hell. But I'd rather be killed by a mutant than slowly starve to death. I still have hope. I'll make it out of here. Uh, I beg to differ, mate. I don't think we'll be eaten alive. I think that's, I think starving to death probably be better than being eaten alive. Imagine the pain of being eaten alive. Bloody hell. Certainly won't want that. Right, um, let's have a look. So we have a bed here, which we can sleep in, which will replenish our health. And I think there's stamina, I think. Is there stamina in it? I'm not quite sure. I'll we'll have to have a look. Um, these lifts take you up and down the building. Uh, we have a workbench where we can craft items. We might have about it, be to be fair. Let's get that light fixed, mate. Right, let's get out. So you will lose uh, your hunger points each time you walk from one room to another. If you have zero hunger points, you lose two health points instead. So that isn't good, is it? So we've got to make sure that we've, we're well fed and we'll be losing health. Right then, we can go from room to room. We can either go uh, obviously left or we can go right or we can go up or we can go down. We can't go down, can we, obviously. Um, let's try going left. And we'll have a look if we can find anything in these boxes. Oh, we've got, got, is that a kitchen knife? Yeah, we'll take that. That's his first weapon of the game so far. Really do need a weapon. Especially if you encounter a zombie or a mutant. Uh, VIP card, yes. Well, they're very early on. Very early on. That means now we can use the uh, lift up to the top. So we can now use this door with a VIP card. So I take it I'm actually a VIP then to be in the penthouse suite. Right. So there's got to be one way out. 
So out of all the rooms in the whole hotel, mine was obviously radioactive fallout proof, you know what I mean? And everyone else has been affected. Right then. So, uh, one, you can just tap on the uh, enemy on their icon. Two, or you can switch to advanced mode by choosing this button. So if we use this button here, um, so this is this button here where it, it will allow you to um, pinpoint uh, body parts. I think it's a bit like the Fallout system, um, combat system, where you could um, pick a body part and have a chance of hitting it. Right, shall we? Well, first of all. Well, I think we need that knife to begin with, don't we? Got a bit of a punch on you, but not good enough. Can I not go into the inventory? Oh, no, you can't once you're in uh, combat mode, damn it. Right, anyway, we'll just have to punch the life out of him. Let's go for a... Let's go for a headshot. Punch in the face. 50% chance. So it's 50-50, no? There we are. Miss. Extra turn. Like it. Ooh, punch in the ears. That's what you want. Uh, let's just rail on him. I think we'll just rail on him. Hope and pray. We survive. I don't like the fact you can't get into my inventory without any combat mode. So I can't swap in and out weapons. Then. I'm getting, I'm getting totally destroyed. I've lost half my health in that one battle. I got it. Right, what have we got here? We've got um, a bandage. I think we might use that. Let's put the health up a little bit. Uh, a kitchen knife. Yeah, we should have had that in the first place. So that's uh, 3.2 damage to 6.2. Now, what would the fist be on its own? Can we not put it back? First is just 1.2. That that really is pitiful, isn't it? Mm. So at least the kitchen knife does a lot more damage. Right, we've got these weapons up here as also. We've got this stiletto, which is 3.7. We've got a hatchet, 6.8. A hammer, a pipe piece of uh, leg pipe problem isn't it? A mop. 4.6. I think a hammer will do a hell of a lot more damage than a mop. To be fair. Yes, a mop would hurt if you whack someone with it, but I'm sure a hammer would do a lot more, wouldn't it? 4 to 6. Oh right, it does do a bit more, yeah. So it's 2 to 11, I didn't see that one. Yeah, 4. Yeah, so you've got more chance of getting 11. Uh, 1 to 8, that's a big margin, isn't it, really? 1 to 8, so you've got like... Obviously, a 1 in 8 chance of getting 8. <laughs> right. Go back. We've got the knife now. Let's check. He's dropped something. Nope. Test this room. We've got a empty dresser. Is that drawers? And print there. Uh, broccoli. It's food in it. Uh, rags. What can we do with these? bandages oh so we need rags and some alcohol which I don't have oh, it's not too bad game so far really oh we've got a message a uh, new message from darling I still love you I'm waiting for you at this special place 
Do you remember when we ran into each other on the 92nd floor? No, I couldn't say so, love. I think you got the wrong number. Right, let's go in here. Oh, shit. Right, we better attack him on. So this knife does. Oh, I missed him with a kitchen knife. Come on. I can understand it if it's like... Try and go for these pinpoint attacks. 50% uh, for that. The headshot. 90% for arms and 80% for. I, I would have thought really that the body would be 90% and the arms would be 90%. Because you're more likely to hit the body than the arms, aren't you? Really? It's more surface area on the body, I should imagine. Plus, is that including the legs? So you've got legs and body, which legs are bigger than arms to begin with and they got a whole body I think they've got them mixed up somewhere I think we need to refine that uh, I'll try again for the body no 80% chance and you missed it really come on headshot I think he needs to level up on some things, don't he? I think you can level up on this system as well. Let's have a look. We've got strength. Uh, strength of five. Speed of five. Dexterity of five. And accuracy of five. I think that's what we're needing to upgrade more than anything is this accuracy. It, it's, it doesn't seem to be very accurate at the minute, does he? Um, Parry chasing. Is that like a rip off of Parry Mason or something? <laughs> Don't know if you remember that, Parry Mason. Is it like a uh, detective or something or other? Um, well, we could do with a bit of food, really, <gasps> couldn't we? Oh, we, oh, I see. It was mouldy food, so it took health off me, I think. Damn it. So I think it put me how me food hunger up but then took health off. Damn. Should have paid attention there. Um So you got that thing, them sort of things to deal with as well. Yeah, it's a bit like a um survival survive you know, a proper survival game, isn't it really? <clears throat> but in 2D. Oh no, who are you? Come on. Alright, let's go for that body shot. Right. I'm just going to slug it out, I think. That was a good hit. That's six points, and that was a good hit, wasn't it? Ooh, new level. Beauty. Let's have a level up. Let's have a look. We've got, oh, we've got water. I think we better have that. We could really do with a uh, medikit or something. Right, accuracy, uh, strength. So the strength will give us obviously a bit more of a, a boost on uh, taking damage on them. But speed, extra two. Uh, an extra turn chance on speed. That's pretty good. Obviously you're dodging, aren't you? Because you're fast. Dexterity chance. Uh, so we've got dexterity dexterity weapons. We've got... And then obviously we've got weapons based on strength. What about the accuracy? 10%. I think I might put it into accuracy to be honest because it seems to be missing a lot, doesn't it? So we've got that. I'm going to put one in strength. I think I'm just going to be a powerhouse, I think. Let's go strength again and put another one in accuracy again. I think that will do us. Right, that's all the points gone. Let's have a look what we can do in here. 
We can't open any of these yet. We've got many kits. I don't think we've got the right materials just yet. We've got the bandage. So what do we need for that? Oh, so we need a uh, sort of alcohol. Small health. More or less the same. Th oh, right. So that's a ragazin. That is a full blown bandage. And a bandage, alcohol, and painkillers. Right. Painkillers is a. Uh, Antibiotics. I'm sorry, but really, antibiotics to make killer painkillers. That seems a bit odd. And alcohol. Two completely two different things altogether. A painkiller and an antibiotic. You couldn't make either out of them. Uh, what's this? Mutant blood. Um, Antibiotic. I can understand that. I can understand the antibiotics and the to make the antidote with the mutant blood, but I don't say you're going to get painkillers from antibiotics and alcohol. You die. To be honest with you, if you mix them two things together, you probably die. Right. Let's get on. Don't mix alcohol and drugs, should you? Right, a brick. Smack that on someone's head, do you? Can't be, it's probably for recipes, maybe. Other. Oh, uh, brick, brick, brick. VIP room. Oh, we can level up the VIP equipment. So, bed level 2. Uh, workbench level 2. So. Oh, we could do that right now, nearly. We just need a stick. And then we can upgrade the kitchen level. Seems cool. Let's go down. So I think we can make... Um, we can make food. Cook his own food, I think. Oh, yes, yeah, a coin. I think we can use that in the vending machine. See? Oh, a stick. Lovely. So we can do that upgrade now, can't we? There we are. We'll do the upgrade. Kitchen level... Level 2. Can we do it? Each kitchen level unlocks new cooking recipes. So how do we... Uh, do it? It says we can... Oh, we are craft here. No? No? You can only craft this recipe in your room. Oh, shite. So I've got to go all the way up to the top to do that. Oh, I'll do that later. I'm not doing just yet. Let's have a little look around. Right, I've been in there, haven't we? Let's go down more. Right, yes, I will use a coin. Oh, some milk. Oh, it's expired milk, so I know what that's going to do straight away. In one end out the other. Right. right. Yeah. Let's try the uh, special attacks. Oh, we've got a higher rate now. 54. Because I did put the, the accuracy at winter. Yeah. That's not too really bad. And plus we've got the strength level up as well, don't we? Oh, that's a good shot. This turn, what beauty. I don't think we can get any more uh, food, any more coins now. Let's go for that headshot. Oh, I mean, you don't feel so good. I don't think you probably do. Uh, let's go for a headshot. Critical hit, mine. Oh, damn it. Well, I think that's it. I think we'll leave it there, I think. I hope you enjoyed that one, because it's not a bad game. I think I'll revisit this at some point, if anybody wants me to replay it, or or anything like that, or make a series out of it, or anything. Just leave a comment in the uh, down below. 
and remember to uh, like and subscribe and thank you very much and i'll see you next time